And that's what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be classy all 2020, even if it had to be in the house. Period. guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Shayla Michelle so I'm back with another haul now today um this is one of my favorite stores and I actually um it's crazy because this is the first time I'm adding anything from their store uh as a haul but you know I'm just getting started we trying to get those numbers up like and make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment at the end of the video if this is what you like i am here uh with the zara haul as you can see a lot of people have been uploading zara haul and your girl is trying to get in there too because i got a lot of stuff i think i spent maybe a good 500 dollars with zara i mean it's been several several separate purchases so i can't say exactly how much i spent but i know i spent a lot so um as you can see by the title we just gonna get right into this video so stick with your girl and i'm gonna take you through is dress number one that i purchased from zara i actually um bought this in a size small now i probably could have gone a size up um the model that had it on it was like pretty loose so this is actually one of my favorite. Um, look at how pretty this brown is though. Now you can kind of see my stomach just a smidge. But I suggest wearing some type of spandex with these. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any at the, at the moment. I still need to purchase some. Um, but I thought this was so cute. Like it has the one shoulder thing going on, kind of like asymmetrical. And then it got that going on in the back. So. I thought this was super cute. Um, you could dress it down, wear some cute sandals with it, or if you wanted to dress it up and do it for date night or dinner or anything, I think that this will be a fantastic option. So, but this is so cute. Um, and it gives you body yaddy yaddy, like period, period on period. So yeah, like sis is classy. And that's what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be classy all 2020, even if it had to be in the house. Period. It's pretty much like a satin dress. With this, I suggest, because if you see, uh, I don't know if you could tell, but there is like a little stain right here. And I really think it may have to do with like oil stain or something. So my suggestion is if you're going to put your lotion on and stuff, just put it on earlier. It's going to be dress number two. Um, I got this one in a size medium. This is so cute. Um, I actually, I don't think it would be bad to wear in the summer. Um, I kind of want to see like what was their purpose because it is kind of like a thick woolly material at the top. It is called a combination dress um, and it is combination of like a thicker portion and then you have your satin blend at the at the bottom. Um, so this one is kind of like a cotton, cotton, I want to say, wool. I mean, it's not wool. It's thick like wool, but it's not thick enough to be wool. But either way, I just, I don't kind of know where they were going with this. But I think it's like super cute. I do think you can wear it during the summer because it is thin enough at the bottom. Um, especially around the leg area to keep you warm. And they do have like a not a slit a seam there you go it's a seam down the going diagonal down your skirt which is really cute forgive me because the dress is not ironed so it's kind of hard to kind of tell just a little bit but i was in a rush to put this video together so i mean you still get the gist of each piece unfortunately i just not presenting it presenting at its best so i apologize i would do it like this real classy this is something you go to tea and brunch with like maybe not brunch because i always talking about brunch but but i am a brunch girl i love brunch um but it's probably something you would go for tea coffee go to the dior uh coffee stop coffee shop or whatever so yeah this is probably something that i wear like this is super cute this one is like literally my favorite. Like if you can see like this detail right here where it look like it's a knot, please again, forgive me. I did not 
iron this, but this is meant to be ironed. Sis, don't you walk out the house like this, okay? Please. But this is my jam. Like, I love this dress. So, let me tell you the fight about this dress. So, one morning, I was up working overtime, um, which I work overtime around like 5 a.m. Um, so, rock, so, I always shop early in the morning. And I found this dress and it was in my size and everything. So I'm geeked. I'm like, okay, let me find some other stuff so I'm just not getting a dress. Lo and behold, somebody snatched it right up out of my cart. So I had it in a cart, got ready to check out, and my dress was gone. My feelings was hurt so 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 bad. So I was I was determined to get this dress. So I put it in my shop tagger. And I was hoping that they was going to tell me if one came back and stopped, but they did not. So I just kept kind of kept checking it, checking back to the Zara for this dress. And lo and behold, somebody returned one. I guess they didn't like it. They couldn't fit it. I don't know what the problem was, but your girl got it. And I was geeked. I ain't even waste no time that time. So when, as soon as I seen the dress and it was in my size, I got it. I just checked out. I, I ain't looking at nothing else. I said, I need to get my dress before somebody else snitched just about my cart. They got me messed up today because I'm going to come find them. Period. But this is so cute. So, like, it's a knotted dress. I don't know why people, I didn't, I didn't see anybody in this dress at all. Um, And I don't see why. Like, this is, like, a super cute dress use these little things but this is a super cute dress and I really don't understand why like people didn't really you know post this dress that much but I love it and I they probably didn't because this right here this gonna be hectic honey I'm trying to get iron but you know I'm gonna figure it out I'm gonna figure it out steamer but this is the dress so this is my last dress uh that I picked up from Zara I only picked up three um, I didn't see many others that I liked, but we about to get into these jeans and these tops. Now, they're not too crazy, but they are cute. The jeans and top portion. So, I actually purchased this shirt. So, it's super see-through, and I actually like that about the shirt. So, don't judge me. But, I thought it was so cute. Um, and this actually was like $9.99, which I'm just like, Zara. How, baby, how much was you selling it before this sale, Okay. Oh, by the way, everything that I purchased was on sale. Like, I did not pay full price for this with Zara. So, a lot of my pieces was like $17, $12, $15, $19.99. think I picked a couple pieces that was $20. My All of my shoes that I purchased from Zara was about, you know, $20. Well, definitely was like $40 and $30. But, the, this is about right for Zara. But I purchased these pants. I actually think these pants, they were $15.99. So, as you can see, they all have red tags. Zara did a super big sale. Um, they were trying to get rid of that season's clothes and bring in a new season, which is, you know, winter is coming up. So, that's what they're trying to, well, fall is coming up. So, they're trying to get to their fall clothing. But I think this would be super cute. And these pants, hunty. I just was, I was really back and forth about the pants, but I really do love these pants. Like... These are so cute. And they kind of have like, I don't know what kind of material it is. It's not really jean. It's almost kind of like jean with paint on it. I don't really know the expression on it. But, you know, I think I would probably wear like some cute shades. Be real simple. And then have on my, like, my Gucci sandals or whatever. This would be super cute. I think this is it. <laughs> this is it. With my brown bag. I have a couple brown bags. And... This is it. White on white, feeling godly. To be cute with like jackets and stuff like that. So I'm about to incorporate a jacket in here. Um, so you can just hold on. Actually, one of my favorites. I actually would probably I, I don't think I would wear this with this, but you know, this jacket is life. I think I got this in a size medium and it was on sale for I think it was like $19.99, I think. It was a really, fairly decent price. And, yeah, like, this is cute. It hit, 
hit my shoulders well it hit right off my waist right where i want it and i actually think this was yeah i think this i ordered this in like a size large this is the only blazer that i got from zara uh some of the other ones they were nice but they weren't to me they weren't in my price range this is the next outfit i got these jeans and actually these jeans they say 15.99 but they actually was like 9.99 and i hit a lick i was so excited um so these are kind of supposed to be, I actually think they're like supposed to be capris, but they, I'm so short and my thighs are so big, so I have to go like a size up, so they always hit like jeans on me. So I probably would, you know, cuff them at the bottom for some cute, you know, shoes or whatever, but I love, I actually was like, I kind of was on a fence about the jeans. Um, these were cute, but I felt like, I didn't like them enough to keep them but I was just like they're $9.99 girl keep them you can do something with them so that's how I am with these right now like I don't completely hate them this top top this was cute and I actually seen a black skirt that I wanted to go with it but I just was not willing to pay $20 for the skirt I know they sound so cheap but I'm so serious Ooh, do y'all like my new wallpaper I completely forgot to say anything about it at the last one. I know y'all had seen half of it. I know I recorded another one where it was completely done, but Hunty, this is cute. But anyways. Okay, so this is the last clothing piece. I probably should have got this shirt in a size um medium um but they only had a small left and i knew that i could do a small because i have a couple small pieces like this shirt is even a small but i this didn't have any stretch in it at all um it's super cute but the back is like super tight super bad i just don't like the bulging of the skin so I feel like if I did it, I probably would do like high-waisted jeans like this. That way it doesn't look that noticeable because if I do anything low-waisted, it's just kind of bulge all of my fat right there. <laughs> so I don't like that part. But I love this shirt. So I felt the same way about this shirt that I did with this dress. So I had this in my cart too. So actually I had both of those in my cart and I was just dishing to get them. And somebody came in and swooped them up out of my hands. So when I seen both of them come available, I just bought them. They did. They were not bought together. I just bought them. I actually now I got this in the mail. So yeah, I was like super geeked on this one. This is so cute though, and I plan on losing like a little weight. I had gained quarantine five, actually like six seven, but we ain't got to talk about it. So, and as you can see, the design right here that is so cute. So you can actually unbutton it. I probably would not. It's cute though. Okay. So I purchased these shoes right here. From Zara's Royal, so as you can see, I've kind of already worn them. They look like this. So I thought these were so cute. These are kind of like the preschool shoes, um, the shoes that we used to have back in the day, like, like kind of like preschool, but they got heels on them. So I thought these were so cute. Purchase these. So some white mules. These are so cute. I have not yet worn these, so as you can see, no back. These were cute. I feel like I needed them so bad. And I messed up. I fractured my toes. So I had it really hurts when I put my foot in here because the dip. I had to have these. So I need y'all to see these up close. So if you can see, like right in here, they kind of bulge the heel out just a little bit. So these were my jam. I'm so excited about these. So, and I was so excited about these that I saw that they had them and yellow so honey i had to oh, get them girl i can't wait till the winter because i'm gonna be stepping on bitches like oh that's mean <laughs> i'm going to be stunting on these hoes okay period with these boots why would zara do this to me i wear a seven and a half and those particular calf boots were actually like kind of tight on my calf i have thick calves so, yeah, I suggest if you got really thick calves, that shoe is not for you unless you want to go up a size. I just need to do some Beyonce work and just get my ribs removed at this point. 
top because I feel like y'all weren't able to see most of the majority of the dress. Wow. What did I do?